Good evening, everyone. Hello, Marielos. How are you doing? Hello, Carla. Okay. Good evening, Marcos. Hello, Yulisa, Raquel. How Good evening, are you? teacher. Good evening, Marcos. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thanks. Great. I'm glad to hear that because tonight we are starting a new topic. Yay. So we've got to be nice. We've got to be fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you have a good day today, uh, Yulisa? Hello, good evening. Teacher. Good evening. Was it a good day today? Was it a good day today? Uh, very good. Nice, nice. Hello, Sandra. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Great. Hello, Estela. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry. Good evening. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just I forgot my, my book. Oh, okay. Okay. You may go. You may go and pick it up. Okay. Uh, hello, Marielos. You said hello, but I want to say you. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Marielos? Mami. Oh, Mami. Okay. That's a very nice voice, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Good evening, it is Janet. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing tonight? I fight, thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Hello, Lucia. How are you tonight? Maybe she's not able to listen to me. Hello, Ileana. Welcome. Okay, how are you tonight, Carla Maria? Hello. Hello, how are you tonight? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, great. Hey, how about the weather tonight? Do you feel cold? Do you feel hot tonight? How do you feel? Is it okay, the weather? It's nice, it's warm enough. The weather, weather, el clima, como lo sienten? Is it cold? Está frío? Is it hot? Está haciendo calor? Hot. Hot. Is it hot? Okay. Okay. Ice, ice. ice. Teacher. Ice, ice. Is it cold? Okay. Yulisa, where are you located? San Miguel. San Miguel. Yeah. Oh, that is why. We can't imagine why. <laughs> because here in San Salvador, it's kind of cold, kind of cold. Yes. Uh, where are you located? Well, here, here it is. Aguachapan. Aguachapan. Oh, frio, oh frio. my God. Really cold there. Yay. Yes. You are in two extremes, right? Right, the opposite stream. <laughs> yeah, San Miguel yes. and Agua Japan. Yes. Imagine. Oh my y los climas God. Muy diferentes. Different. Totally different. Totally different. Yes, you're right. Yes. Clima se dice weather. 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 Mm -hmm. Weather. weather. The weather is nice. The weather is not so good. Okay. It's raining. Okay. Yeah. It's cold, it's hot. Okay, there we go, guys. We are gonna start tonight with calling the roll because that's our first point. If I don't do it at the beginning, then I forget. So <laughs> I have to do it, okay? Um, uh, I'm trying not to forget, okay? 
So let's start with that part first. And then we are going to go to uh, continue with the activities we were doing yes, uh, yesterday about the, um, uh, the feedback, right? The vocabulary practice. So let's see. Carolina Chavez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Uh, José Mauricio García Hernández. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Andy Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marielos Dianet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loais. Present teacher. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Teacher. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present teacher. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay, thank you very much everybody for being here and for being punctual. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Now, just um, as a matter of feedback, you please tell me if what I'm going to say is a bad behavior, road behavior, or a good, good behavior, okay? What do you think? Is it bail late for a formal meeting, a rude behavior or a, a good behavior? To be late for a formal meeting, what do you think? A ver. Es un buen comportamiento o es un comportamiento mm, mm, no muy bueno, rude behavior to be late for a formal meeting. What do you think? Is it good? It's a good behavior. To, to be late? Uh, bad, late, no. Bad behavior. Bad behavior. Yay, it's a bad behavior. Yes, you're right. Uh, what do you think? To answer a personal phone call during a business presentation and you are the speaker. What do you think? Bad or good behavior? To answer a personal phone call during yeah, but, a bad behavior. Yeah, bad behavior because you're the speaker and then I'm sorry, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, and you start, hello? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, no problem. I'm going to pick it up at the supermarket. And I am the speaker and it's a formal business meeting. Now that's bad. Thank you very much. Now, what do you think? To be punctual and set everything up before people arrive at a meeting is a good behavior or a bad behavior? To be punctual and set everything up before people arrive at a meeting. Yeah, yeah, good. good or bad? Good behavior. Okay, good behavior, good behavior. Now, what do you think? Shout while you speak. 
shout while you speak? Is that good or bad? It is bad behavior. Bad behavior, right? Sometimes it feels yeah. as if uh, will... you are uh, respecting people, right? When you uh, speak a little louder, right, than everybody, right? Because it's it's in it seems that you are more than them or more important than them, right? So we have to keep the uh, the volume of our voice in a rate, right, that it is acceptable. So let's think. What do you think? Fall asleep during a conference. It's is... bad behavior. Bad. <laughs> it's not bad? sleep. <laughs> okay, no sleeping, right? No sleeping. You mm -hmm. should stay awake. You should stay awake. And that is why we need to rest enough, right? Or properly at night. But sometimes I know that we have some uh, extra work to do at our uh, at our houses, at our home, right? So yeah, we have to go to bed kind of late and then we are tired at a meeting or at a conference, but we should not do that. Yeah, we should not do that. We should stay awake. Don't sleep in a conference. Oh my, you are like this, right? <laughs> in a conference. <laughs> yeah, calling the speaker, right? Así decimos en español, está llamando al, al, al ponente, ¿verdad? Like this, come here, right? Come here. <laughs> yeah, no, we cannot do that. Okay, people, now let's go. Let's go to uh, continue with the manual. Let's go to page 38. There we have two exercises, two or three exercises that we need to complete just to, um, as a matter of feedback. Ok, a manera de un repaso, vámonos a la página 38 de nuestro manual y ahí vamos a eh, completarlo. Ok, vamos a ir ahí. Do you have any questions so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de lo que estábamos hablando? No question, teacher. Thank you, Marcos. Is there anyone uh, who has any question, who wants to ask for a question? No, are we okay? Okay, here we go. In our manuals, we, we have these exercises. We have three, four, and five that we want to complete. Okay, just to finish unit three. So let's read the instructions for exercise number three. Exercise number three. Can you please, Lucia, read the instruction here? Only the instructions. Okay. Perdón, tenía que okay. apagar el micrófono. Uh, introduction, ¿verdad? Yes, only the instructions. Yes, please. Uh, Identific in correct three mis mistakes in the read re re below. Okay, thank you very much, Lucia. Before uh, continuing this, a ver, corrijamos un poquito estas pronunciaciones, pero necesito que todos lo hagan conmigo y que lo hagan abriendo la boca exageradamente, ¿ok? Pero no aparece en la pantalla, no, no solo está cargando, no sé si a los demás le aparece. ¿Sí la yes. pueden ver? Sí, sí la podemos yes. ver. Yes. Es, es el inter, igual así estaba conmigo también. Yo creo que es por cuestiones de, de internet. Oh, ok. Ok. Pero pueden verlo en la página 38 del manual. Ok. Si tienen el manual ahí para irlo leyendo conmigo, ok. Hasta que le cargue, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a, a, a ver un poquito las pronunciaciones acá. 
Pero quiero que lo hagan abriendo la boca exageradamente, ¿ok? Like, identify. 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 Esa T, nosotros la pronunciamos identify. para que se nos quede, ¿verdad? Pero en el uso, ustedes van a sentir que dice identify. Identify. Casi que ni se pronuncia. Pero para que se nos quede, ¿ok? Vamos a decirlo exageradamente. Identify. 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 Bien. Y la otra palabra, esta. Mistakes. 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 One mistake, two mistakes. Right? One mistake, two mistakes. Mistake. 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 Uh -huh. mistake is an error. Okay, it's an error. Something that it is wrong. That's a mistake. And <laughs> quiero escuchar esa palabra todos así exageradamente. Mistakes. 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 Y luego tenemos este que la hemos aprendido en este curso. Request. 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 There we go. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. So now we are going to start with the exercise. What do we have to do? We have to identify three mistakes. And then obviously we want to say the correct sentence, right? Okay. Let's see number one. Let's take a look on number one, okay? Uh, can you read number one, Marcos Amilcar, please? Okay, uh, number one? Yes. Could you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Okay. Is it correct or is there a mistake in this statement? Uh -huh. Ajá, everyone. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Why yeah. is it correct? Why is it correct? A ver, explíquenme por qué está correcta. Vamos a ver. Uh, is blocking. Está bloqueando. No. Ajá. No. Ajá, pero la estructura gramatical de la pregunta. Do you mind? Sí. Yeah, yeah. Is it correct? Mm. Uh, yes, it is correct. It is correct. Ahora, explíquenme por qué está correcto. Vale, si decimos que está correcto, digamos por qué. Y si no está correcto, digamos por qué y lo corregimos. Ok, that's the idea of this exercise. Ok, would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Ok, it's correct. Why? Because after, would you mind? We use ing verb for, ¿ok? Esa es nuestra explicación. Después de la frase, would you mind, necesitamos usar una forma del verbo gerundio, ¿verdad? Ing verb for. Right. Ahí está la explicación. Vamos a ver number two. Let's look at number two. Can, uh, could you please read this number two, please? It is Janet. Okay. You could fill this purchase order. Okay. Is this correct or is incorrect? A ver, pensemos. In incorrect. It is correct. Okay, it is, Marina said it's correct. And I think it was Lucia who said incorrect, right? Now, can you please explain me why it is incorrect? Incorrect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because it's a question, right? This is a question. Entonces, um, yes. then the order of the words must be correct. 
So, it's question. Aha, uh -huh. if it is a question, what yes. is the correct order? ¿Cuál es el orden Or correcto? Yes, the correct. Five. Aha. Uh -huh. Call you by Feel. 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 Okay. If we want, we add please or we may omit please. It depends, right? So, yes, this is the correct order. Could you fill this purchase order, right? Could you fill this purchase order? Va could al principio, miren, luego va el sujeto y después va el verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? No cambia el verbo de la forma base, ¿ok? Y luego el complemento y que no se nos olvide que como es pregunta lleva el question mark. Ok, now let's think about number three. Number three. Uh, do you want to read this, please, Sandra, Sandra Patricia? Number three. How are you sending this invitation to your assistant? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, everyone, let's think about this sentence, this statement. It's incorrect. Is it incorrect? Why? Uh, hmm? Would you? M mine. Okay, great. We, uh, ahí para que podamos decir mind is missing. Okay. Mind okay. Mine is, missing. is missing. Eso significa le falta mind, right? Okay. Mind is mind missing. Is missing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you mind sending, sending this invitation to your assistant? Okay, thank you very much, Carla. So now let's continue. We have number four. Number four, please, Ileana, could you please read it? Number four. Four. Yes. Could you mind ordering something to eat? Thank you very much. Is this correct or is this incorrect? Is correct. Okay. Why um, is this correct? But it's complete all phrase. Would you mind plus verb with ing? Great, thank you very much. Yes, that's correct. So number five, number five. Yulisa, please read this, uh, read this number five. Aren't you there, Yulisa? Okay, there you are. Hi. Could you please eh, read? Teacher. A mí no me cargó la página en el teléfono, no tengo problema para que me baje la, la, oh. el libro. Okay, okay. Ajá, que no puedo ver, no puedo participar porque no puedo ver ni ahí ni acá. Oh, okay. Uh, vamos a ver si puedo. ¿Alguien puede hacer el favor? Porque yo tengo tres ventanas abiertas, no me puedo ir a, a seleccionar esto, copiar y mandarlo a, a, al WhatsApp para que WhatsApp. lo pueda ver, oh, wow. Yulisa. ¿Alguien pudiera mandarle eh, lo que estamos viendo ahí, Ulisa? Por el WhatsApp, por favor. Espérenme, voy a intentar hacerlo yo dejando de compartir. Porque ya sería otra ventana. ¿Qué dice? ¿Ya lo enviaron? Ok. Ahí está, Yulisa. Look. Sí. Sería la number five. Yes, please. Number five. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Go ahead, please, Yulisa. Eh, sería right? Leer? Uh, read. Yes. Leer. Read. Read. Mm -hmm. 
excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Uh, es el 5, pero del sí. ejercicio 3. Uh -huh. Oh, could you come early tomorrow? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, she We... pronounced, uh, Yulisa pronounced this like come, right? That will be the correct thing because it says, could you coming earlier tomorrow? What do you think? Is this correct or is this incorrect? Is this incorrect? incorrect. But this... the verb is ing. Uh -huh. Not... The verb is the base form. So what is the correct form to say this? Incorrect. Yes, can you please uh, tell me what's the correct form to say this? Will uh, you come early tomorrow? Come. Okay, we need to receive our visitors. Okay, great, there we are, yeah. Esta palabra earlier, okay, tenemos que agregar esa R al final, ¿verdad? Earlier. Early. Oh. Early es eh, para decir temprano, ¿verdad? Así. Early. Early es temprano. Earlier es más temprano. ¿Ok? Early, temprano. Earlier, más temprano. ¿Ok? Thank you very much. Then let's see. Uh, let's go to the next exercise. Oh, by the way, do you, do you have any question about this exercise? Questions? O vamos bien? Clear like horchata, teacher. Clear like water, teacher. Is clear. Okay, thank you very much, Marcus. I assume that Marcus is uh, your speaker, right? You're el vocero de todos, right? So, por Marcos va a decir que sí, todos vamos bien. O hay alguien que tenga una pregunta. Vamos a ver. No preguntas? No tengan pena. Vamos a ver, continuamos. No question. Thank you very much, Elisa. No tengan miedo de preguntar, aunque alguien diga que vamos bien. Si usted tiene una pregunta, por favor. Esta ya es la última semana que estamos empezando. Oh, so, tenemos que sacar todas las preguntas. ¿verdad? Select the most appropriate answer for the requests below. Este es nuestro próximo ejercicio. Select the most appropriate answer for the requests below. A ver, tenemos ahí cinco statements, ¿verdad? O, o, o cinco preguntas. Y tenemos que elegir cuál de las dos reacciones es correcta. ¿Ok? Recordemos cómo se reacciona, ¿verdad? Recordemos cómo se reacciona. Vamos a leer number one. Let's read number one. Ok. Carol, ¿es Carol already in? ¿Ya entró Carol? Por ahí sentí que la había visto. No, ok. Entonces, Guadalupe, please read number one. Sara, never stop changing. Uh, this on one. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ¿a number four. Perdón, perdón, yeah. perdón. En este ejercicio. Perdón. Yeah. <laughs> perdón. Ya quería terminar. <risa> eh, ¿Que lea las instrucciones o number four? No, one. number one. Number one. Bueno. Uh -huh. you me turn the light on? 
Muy bien. Yo creo que a usted me la traicionan los nervios, Guadalupe. Tranquila, yes. tranquila. Sí. Esta frase ya la aprendimos y la hemos practicado. A ver, todos digamos, would you mind? 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 Ok, con mucha seguridad, ya la would sabemos esta. Vamos a decirla mind. con seguridad. Would you mind? Would you mind? A ver, Guadalupe, léamela nuevamente. Would you mind? Would you mind? The light on. Thank you very much. Better, much better. Excellent. Okay, then, what is the correct reaction here? What is the correct reaction to this request? Letter A or letter B? No problem, okay. or yes, it would. Letter A. Letter A. A, A, A right? Okay, A. letter A. A. Let's read number two. Can you please read number two, Estela? Yes, teacher. Uh, could you order something to eat, please? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, everyone. What is the correct answer here? Letter B. It's B. It's B. It's okay. Great. Uh -huh. Yes, because we don't say yes or no, right? Even though it is a yes, no question, we just react. Okay, because it's a request. It's not exactly a question, right? So number three, Marielos, could you please read number three? Could you request? more the paper clip please thank you thank you uh-huh what is the correct answer here hey, yes i could right. yes i could or yes, right away yes i could Ok, cuando nos hacen una, una solicitud, una petición, o sea, nos están pidiendo hacer algo, no le decimos yes, I could. Esa respuesta no existe en estas, eh, en este tipo de peticiones que la gente le haga. Aquí lo que hacemos es que reaccionamos, decimos right away, in a minute, sure, ok, sure, pero no yes, I could, ok. No le podemos decir, I could do it, porque ahí cuando yo le digo, I could do it, suena a que yo le voy a negar el favor. I could do it, but I have to do something else. Right? Entonces, no concuerda, ¿verdad? La respuesta correcta sería, right away. Okay. Yes, tell me. What, what is a wait? A wait. Mire, uh -huh. ahí, bueno, away, la palabra como tal es lejos, ¿verdad? Lejos. Pero right away es que ahorita me muevo, ¿verdad? Ahorita lo hago. La palabra juntas, esas dos palabras juntas. Yeah. Inmediatamente. Yes. Immediately, yes. Uh -huh. Right away. Uh -huh. It is different right now, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, it's different, not exactly because of the space or the time exactly, right? Pero se puede usar indiferentemente en ciertas ocasiones como en esta, okay? Right now, yeah, and you can say that, but right away, it's, uh, es como más presto, ¿verdad? Más presto a realizarlo, yeah? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now let's read number four. Could you please read it, uh, Lisa del Carmen? Mm, would you mind getting ten copies of this report? Okay. What will be the correct answer here? Let it be. Be. In, a in a minute. 
Okay, mm. great. Now let's read number five. Carla Raquel, could you please read number five? Excuse me. Could you talk? Tur, tur, turn, uh -huh. turn, do, develop, abet. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Carla Raquel. So everybody, please tell me what's the correct answer here. Letter B, not a problem. Thank you very much. Okay, not a problem. Now let's go to the next one just to uh, complete this thing. Okay. Uh, and number five, we have write a suggestion about the following behaviors. Aquí tenemos que utilizar las estructuras de should, should or should not. Okay. So let's read. Veamos la primera situación. ¿Qué podemos sugerir ahí? Number one. Number one. Sara never stops chatting on the phone when he have when we have lunch, I'm sorry. Voy a leerlo nuevamente. Sara never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What can we suggest? Mm -hmm. Sara. Mm -hmm. Sara, sure, stop. Mm -hmm. Talking, chatting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Chatting. Mm -hmm. On the phone, right? On the phone. Uh -huh. On the phone during our lunch, right? When we have lunch. Okay, yes. And this is correct. Sara should stop chatting on the phone. Uh, but there is a situation here, right? During lunch or when we have lunch. Number two, let's read this situation. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. A ver, ¿se imaginan esa situación? ¿Les pasa a ustedes? La número dos. ¿Les pasa a ustedes? ¡Ey, mira vos! Tráeme aquel, aquellos audífonos que dejé allá. All right. No es correcto, entonces. Pero en este caso... Está hablando de que su jefe lo hace constantemente, right? My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. ¿Qué le podemos decir a este jefe? He, my boss, sure not. Mm -hmm. Show de gritar. Show. Show. Mm -hmm. At you. Shout at me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He need buy a cell phone. <laughs> Yeah, listen. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he needs to buy a in cell phone, case, right? Yeah. In, in my work. Okay. Call the, 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 the person. By phone. Okay. Yes. All, all the people can hear. Yeah. Ah, uh, from, uh, okay. That's the... Um, uh, the intercom. Ay, ¿cómo sería esto? Este coso remotely by the radio or uh, a ver, déjenme encontrar cómo se llama este aparato. Ya. 
yeah it's from this from a speaker right mm -hmm. from a speaker but let me find out a better translation for that o sea que le, le pueden hablar como por el micrófono dice Lice. yes okay that's if they want you to go to that place right but what about if your boss is shouting at you to do something from his desk? Right? Yeah, because uh, it's like a, a speaker uh, call. Oh ya yeah. hey, siempre me va a dar speaker estaba buscando otra palabra que fuera así como uh, may may del request. computador verdad o algo así Excuse me? Yeah, may request. He may request. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In gray or be phone call. Ah, uh, he should make requests. Uh huh. On. The, uh, um, perdón, ¿cómo fue que me dijo? On call. Or be phone call. Okay. Uh, on a call, uh huh, or by text message, right? By text message, mm -hmm. instead yes. of doing it, shouting at the people, uh, 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 the person, right? Okay, yeah, you're right. It sounds good. Thank you very much for helping me with that. But uh, lo que yo estaba tratando de eh, traducir es lo que decía Lisette, que lo llaman por el altavoz, ¿verdad? Lo llaman por el micrófono, ¿verdad? Así como en el seguro lo llaman a uno por, para la farmacia, ¿verdad? Eh, por micrófono, ¿ya? Yeah? By the microphone, microphone or uh, through the speakers, right? Okay. Number three, number three. Let's go and see this. Number three. Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. They are like this. But first, let me take a selfie, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What can we suggest? What can you suggest? about Jimena and Susan. They keep, they should. Mm -hmm. Keep the cell phone. Okay. Okay, they should keep the cell phone. Okay. In this um, in this case, noise keeps. No, because it's they. They. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, plural, right? Y aparte, cuando usamos should, no utilizamos la conjugación de la tercera persona. Va en forma base. ¿Ok? Va en forma base. Aunque aquí pusiéramos she. ¿Ok? Ay, perdón. She. Eh, igual, se queda en forma base sin la letra S porque aquí tenemos un auxiliar. Should. Que nos dice la regla que cuando lleva should, vamos a usarlo con la forma base del verbo. Okay. Entonces vamos a poner they porque eso es lo correcto de acuerdo a la número tres, right? I want to write the numbers here. 
having kind of trouble with my keyboard because a part of the keyboard is not working properly. So that's why. Okay, let's read number four. Pablo posts the sign, not a good time in his office door. So his team does not talk to him. What can we suggest here? A ver, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que ha puesto Pablo en su puerta? A sign, un rótulo, a sign, right? ¿Y cómo dice el rótulo? Not a good time. Not a good time. <laughs> yeah, and where is this sign? In his office door, right? In his office door, so no one uh wants to talk to him right they can't because of that sign right so his team does not talk to him so let's see que le podemos sugerir a pablo para que sus colegas verdad o su equipo le hable o hable con él Pablo, stop, please. Uh -huh. Pablo, Pablo shouldn't. shouldn't sería. Should not, yes, uh -huh. or shouldn't. Yes, podemos ponerlo completo o podemos ponerlo contractado, right? Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't what? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Pause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pause. Low. <laughs> To take it off. Como lo dijo Lucia? Can you repeat? Uh, post low. Post. Uh, no, no sé si le comprendo la, la palabra. Uh, 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 en vez de low. ¿Así? Sí. Eh, ¿Cuál es la idea, Lucía? Um, sería como Pablo no debería eh, de como de de publicar o de poner um, en, en la oficina. Okay. Uh, Pablo shows post negative. Pablo show 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 the post negative. Okay. Shouldn't post uh, a sign or the sign, right? Like this. The sign? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Así? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, así está correcto, okay? Like this is correct. Pablo shouldn't post the sign not a good time in his office door. So everybody can talk to him, right? If he does not do that, okay? If he doesn't do that. Okay, people, so number five. 
Number five, Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji. Y ponen ahí el emoji. Sí. All right. <laughs> Del guiño, right? Ajá. ¿Qué le Gabriela, podemos decir? Uh -huh. Gabriela Chu use emoji. Gabriela. Graciela es, right? Ya le cambiamos ah, el nombre. Ya, ya. Should use emoji. Should use or should not use? Should not okay. use. Should not. Ah, emoji, please. Emoji in the email. In his email. In her, right? Porque es ella. In her email. Her emails. Okay. Her. Good. Thank you very much, and there we are. We are all done with these exercises. Ahora sí, abuelo de pájaro, vamos a ir y ver este último ejercicio. Uh, pero si ¿sí existe pregunta o no existe pregunta de lo que acabamos de hacer. No. No, no questions. Ok. Vámonos entonces a este otro ejercicio acá. Este es rapidito, no los vamos a escribir. Vamos a ver. De estas palabras que tienen acá, frases que tienen acá, what are formal salutations and closing and what of those are informal? Okay? Digamos, see you. Is that a closing formal or is that a, an informal closing? Informal. Yeah. Informal. Okay. Hey. To say, to, to start. Hey, informal. What's up? Informal. Informal. Hello, Mister. Hello, Mrs. Informal. Informal, right? Informal. Dear friend. Formal. Formal. My best. My best. Informal. It's kind of informal. Okay. It's formal. kind of infor informal. Yeah, because mm -hmm. formal are, are those uh, uh, closings that we say regards, best regards, yours, uh, truly yours, respectfully, right? Morning. Imagine you start saying morning. Informal. 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 Best regards, formal or informal? Oh. Formal. 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 Uh, th and X, like saying thanks. Informal. Okay. XOXO. Informal. 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 Yeah, this is hugs and kisses, right? Hugs and kisses. Sir, what, what is XOXO? Uh, Huggies and kisses. Yeah. Huggies and kisses. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, what is regards? Regards, es regards. el saludo como regards. wishes, right? Mm -hmm. Es saludo de, de ida, o sea, es despedida, okay? It's a closing. Okay, people, now let's start with the class, I mean, with the topic for tonight, because we need to... Um, we need to jump in this new topic. This new topic is unit four, unit four. Yes, oh yeah, bravo, bravo, bravo everybody. You are doing a good job. We are starting unit four. So let's go and check this out, okay? ¿Cómo se llamaba la unidad tres? ¿Cuál era el tema? De la unidad tres, tres. ¿Cuál era el tema? ¿Se acuerdan? Um, Good practice. Communication. Yeah, communica communication, communication at the workplace. Right. Communication right. at the workplace. Right. So now we are going to, yeah, we are going to study travel plans. Okay, travel plans. Travel plans. Yes, we are going to start. In the unit four. Unit four. Unit four is travel plans. Yeah. 
algún, algún disco, me dejo de aquí en la columna. Con ¿Algún la... disco los riñones? Hello, hello. Hey, come on. I know you have like a pain in your backs, but okay. One second. Go. Okay, this is our topic for unit four travel plans. Travel plans. Okay. Travel plans. This is the last week. Okay. Tra travel plans, teacher. Yes, travel plans. Okay. Travel plans. And our first topic is hotel services <clears throat> and amenities. Hotel services and amenities. This is the class for today. This is our first topic. Uh, we saw the written exercises of feedback. We are introducing unit four, then we are reading the class objective, and then we have to practice a dialogue. But the most important part here is that we are going to achieve uh, some vocabulary related to plans when we travel. And to start that, let's start with the objective, okay? So this class will be able, uh, I mean, you, the class will be able to plan a trip and talk about the travel services accommodations they need to make to prepare their trip, okay? The class will be able to plan a trip and talk about the travel services accommodations they need to make or to prepare your trip, okay, their trip. So let's well, start. Trip. trip es un sinónimo de viaje, okay? Travel, trip. Travel es el verbo viajar, mm -hmm. okay? Trip es otro verbo también yes. que se puede usar para viajar, okay, que es viajar también, pero como... Sí, no. Yes, pero esto ya es más que todo al recorrido, ¿verdad? Al recorrido de punto A a punto B, ¿ok? Your trip with the adventures and all the plans that you have in. Trip, trip. Okay. Y, y able, able, be able to play. O sea, después de oh, mí. Ese va, o sea, ese va unido con will, will be able. Will be able quiere decir serán capaces o podrán, podrán planear, ¿ok? Podrán, ¿ya? Yeah? Will be able es podrán, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, people, let's go to the vocabulary. But first of all, I need you to tell me, ¿ok? Because we have some questions in our manuals. Pero lo primero y primordial es que queremos saber si ustedes viajan. Okay. Uh, do you travel? Do you usually travel? Who travels here? No. Do you like traveling? No. Yes. No. Never. No. No. Um, yes. Do you travel on a business trip? Do you travel? Uh, I mean, in, in, uh -huh. in the. Um, Inside country is traveled. It's traveling too. Yes, it's traveling too. It's not needed that you go to another country or foreign countries, right? You yeah, can yeah. go uh, inside the borders, right? In the borders, yes. Mm -hmm. for, for where I travel in the Central America. And Central America, okay. Okay, so you have to plan your tri your trips, right? You have to plan your trips. You need to see uh, where you are going to stay, where what things you need, right, to take, right, and what are the activities that you are going to do in the uh, destination, right? In, okay. I in December I went to Roatán. Oh, great, great. Entonces le toca planear, ¿verdad? Su viaje. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anyone who travels? 
Is there anyone who travels? Do you go to the beach? Yes. Do you go to plan los planes de renderos? <laughs> Do you go to it, a park? Yes. <laughs> No. Do you go to the Bicentenary Park, Bicentenary Park, Bicentennial? For yes. running. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. You run. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you travel from point A to point B, right? To point, uh, from A, point A to point B. No necesariamente viajar significa ir en avión, ¿verdad? Ir a otro país, okay? Dentro de nuestras fronteras también viajamos, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿cuáles son los motivos por los que viajamos? That's important to know. Eso es importante saberlo. To make the right plan. Para establecer el plan correcto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted va en un viaje de placer, a pleasure a trip, then you... You have like, um, you have to make plans differently because you are having this entertainment. You are trying to have all the time for activities of pleasure, right? Activities that, that you can do with your family, with your, um, I don't know, the person that is going with you or if you travel alone, right? No sabemos si usted viaja solo, si va con la familia, family trip. Uh, no, todas esas cosas se deben tomar en cuenta para poder hacer un plan, ¿ok? Para poder hacer un plan. Y esta unidad, ¿ok? En esta unidad vamos a aprender a hacer planes. ¿Cómo? En un futuro eh, cierto y cercano que vamos a utilizar una estructura que es be going to, la empezaremos a ver mañana, así que pongámonos a ver el vocabulario que nos toca para el día de hoy, vocabulary a ver the vocabulary for tonight share this with you. Okay. Tenemos estas palabras aquí en esta columna. This word. Reservation. 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 Okay. Reservation. Amenities. 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 Accommodations. 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 Booking. 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 Y tenemos esta frase. How long? Okay. How long? Esta frase ya la conocemos, ¿verdad? No. How long significa cuánto tiempo, ¿ok? Cuánto tiempo. ¿Mm? Veamos cómo se usan estas palabras ya en una oración. Let's read the first example. We are going to send a booking confirmation. You should check it carefully. We are going to send a booking confirmation. You should check it carefully. Okay? Booking. Booking is when you um, a reserve a hotel, okay? And you um, make a pre-registration, right? A pre-registration. So we are going to send a booking confirmation. You should check it carefully. Booking, booking, mm -hmm. booking. Veamos la otra. The hotel has excellent amenities. The hotel has excellent amenities. Amenities. 
Amenities son todos los servicios que ofrece el hotel. Ok. All the services, what they offer. Ok. The hotel has servicios. excellent amenities. Yes, amenities. Pero las amenities son de un hotel. Ok, los servicios de un hotel. Now, let's see. There are three categories of accommodation. Which ones are they? Standard, executive, and the looks. Okay. There are three categories of accommodation. Standard, executive, and the looks. Okay. Accommodation, accommodation, accommodation. Okay, vamos a ver la otra. The reservation system says they have availability. The reservation system says they have availability. Okay. Reservation, reservation. It comes from the verb to reserve, to reserve, okay? They save a place for you, okay? They save a place for you to come, okay? In advance, in advance. You reserve the hotel room, for example. You reserve the... Um, amenities that you want to book in, right? And let's see the last one. How long? How long? How long are you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? Esta pregunta, apréndansela tal como está, que sirve no solo para eh, cuánto se va a estar en un hotel, okay? Por ejemplo, si es, tu esposo va de viaje, Okay, how long are you going to stay there, right? Por ejemplo, si alguien lo viene a visitar a usted, a su casa, eh, nosotros normalmente no les, no les preguntamos como por educación, ¿verdad? ¿Y, ¿Y cuánto te vas a estar? ¿Y cuándo te vas? Casi no lo hacemos así porque sentimos que, pero necesitamos proyectar el plan y saber hasta cuándo va a estar esa persona, right? So you may ask, how long are you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? ¿Qué es lo único que cambiamos para, al aprender esta estructura? El sujeto, ¿verdad? She, um, how long is she going to stay? How long is he going to stay? How long are they going to stay? How long am I going to stay there? Right? How long am I going to stay? Imagínense, me está diciendo mi jefe, mira, te tenía que ir de viaje. And how long, how long am I going to stay there? Right? So. Yeah. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Questions? No question. No questions? No. Okay, Jorge Antonio, please read number one, the first one. We are going to send a, a booking confirmation. You're sure careful. Check it. Carefully. Okay. okay, you should check it carefully. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, Lisa. The auto has excellent amenities. Amenities, amenities. Amenities. Okay. In English, we say hotel. Hotel. Okay. Hotel. hotel. Not hotel. Uh, not hotel, but hotel. 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 Oh, with a letter J, right? Hotel. Right? Hotel. Uh huh. Okay. Now. Sonia Evelyn, please read number three here. Yes, teacher. There are three categories of 
accommodation standard execu executive and deluxe. Thank you very much. Iliana, the next one, please. The reservation system side the house of availability. 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 A ver, digámoslo juntos. Availability. 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 Ajá, eso quiere decir que hay disponibilidad de espacios, ¿verdad? Availability. Yes, availability. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jessica, please the last one. Can you read it? How long are you going to stay? Thank you, thank you. ¿Cómo responderíamos esta pregunta? How long are you going to stay? A ver. Ideas. Terapia I, I going to stay three days. Great. Okay, I'm going to stay three days. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, now we are going to see this. Okay, I will show you this one. Okay, here we have some vocabulary, okay? Pero antes, a ver, recordemos esto que tenemos acá. Nos vamos a ir al manual, okay? Porque vamos a leer ahí algunas cuestiones y vamos a practicar una conversacioncita para ver cómo se usa el vocabulario que hemos aprendido. Teacher, the list. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, it is important. Thank you, thank you. Remember uh, to turn on your cameras and remember to say present. Carolibe Chávez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Thank you, Iliana. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Mauricio García Hernández. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, María Luz Yanet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loaiz. Present. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Present teacher. Julissa Raquel Cruz García. Present teacher. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, people, let's continue with this. Let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have a conversation and let's see how we can use some uh, vocabulary and also how to uh, use some more vocabulary here, okay? So please, let's go to page 39. Page 39. And let's read.
This is the conversation. It says in instructions between a client or um, a customer and a travel agency. Okay, it's a phone call to a travel agency. So please listen the reading and then we are going to practice. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April the 14th. Sure, may I have your name please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Me voy a leer más lento. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April the 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Uh, repeat, how do you say April 14th? 14? Fourth? April the 14th. 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to say April the 14th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero ahí no es el da. No, no está. Eso lo aprendimos cuando vimos las fechas. En las fechas, aunque no esté, se dice the. Porque nu nunca va a estar the. Okay. Nunca va a estar the 14. Okay. Siempre va a estar solo el mes la fecha y el año, ¿verdad? Entonces, se recuerdan que habían unas palabras, ¿verdad? Que había que agregarle. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, on April yes. the 14th of 2022, right? Acuérdense, that and of. Ok. ¿Estamos bien? Teacher, what is the meaning of travel service? Shuttle, shuttle service shuttle. Uh -huh, is the transportation from the airport to the hotel and vice versa, right? You may uh, take the hotel transportation to the airport, okay? It's not your own transportation. It's not that you take a taxi, it's that they provide you the service of transportation. Okay? Thank you. Okay, there we go. Is there any other question? Okay, then. Vamos a practicar ahorita solamente el saludo, okay? El saludo de sería el agent y el cliente. Eso es lo que vamos a practicar ahorita todos, okay? Vamos a poner en silencio nuestro mic, microphone, y vamos a decir, okay, Mark's Travel Agency, okay, how can I help you? Yeah, Mark es la uh, agencia de viajes, okay, yeah. Entonces, vamos a ver. Todos, por favor, diciendo, Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Como que estamos contestando el teléfono. Ok, vamos a ver todos ese tono. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Right? Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? 
Okay. Can I help you? Ahora vamos a probar que nosotros somos Rosa Puentes. Ok, vamos a decir nuestro propio nombre. Ok, entonces vamos a decir ahorita, Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April the 14th. Ok, vamos todos poniendo su micrófono en mute y lo quiero ver abriendo sus bocas. Ok. Ok. Veamos esta otra pregunta. Sure. May I have your name, please? ¿Verdad que ahí no le está preguntando? Sure. What's your name? No, ¿verdad? No. Muy educadamente está usando este auxiliar que es may. Ok. Yes. Muy polite. May I have your name, please? Ok. Todos practicándolo. Quiero ver sus labios. Ok, ahora vamos a decir, of course, I am Carmen Beteta, right? Pues no ustedes, ¿verdad? sino que ustedes van a decir su nombre. Ok, there you go. Ok. Entonces, su nombre de pila sería su primer nombre y su primer apellido, ¿verdad? O cómo usted se presenta. Bien, vamos entonces a escuchar a Lisette y Kenny, ¿ok? Lisette is the agent and Rosa is Kenny, con sus propios nombres, ¿ok? En este caso, el agent no dice su nombre, right? Ok. Mark Strobel Agency, how can I help you? Uh, good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. The 14th. The 14th. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Kenny Cuellar. Thanks you. Mr. Kenny, Mr. Quay, Miss Kenny. Miss Quayer, Miss Quayer. Acordémonos que cuando le damos el título decimos el apellido, Miss Quayer, ¿verdad? Thank you, Miss Quayer. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the show service? Yes, please. Okay, very good. You did a very good job here. Okay, now let's listen to, San, uh, excuse me, Sandra and Sonia, please. Sandra is the agent and Sonia is Rosa. Okay, teacher. Okay, we'll go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Miss eh, Teacher. Desde el inicio o continuando. Uh, perdón, me perdí porque no escuché a la primera eh, a, a la agente. Tiene que ser desde la primera, ¿verdad? Donde dice agent. Okay, okay. Max Charles Agency. How? Can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on the 14th. Teacher, se me va a apagar el teléfono. Oh, okay, okay. Se me está descargando. Excuse me. Okay, okay, bien. Vamos a ver a uh, quién nos ayuda acá. Who wants to be a volunteer here? Who wants to volunteer? Aha, uh -huh. Julio Cesar. Yes, I see that you are very willing to do it. Yes, you want to. Okay. 
no problem. Julio Cesar and continue with Sonia. Es, empecemos, let's start over. Max Travel Agency, how come I have you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April, April the 14th. Sure. My, my, I have your name, please. Of course. I'm Evelyn Iraeta. Thank you, Miss Iraeta. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the sure service? Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. Just remember that shuttle service, shuttle. Okay, shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. service. Okay, we're going to the next part here because we have to complete this with true or false and uh, based on the conversation, right? Rosa needs a double room. Is that true or is that false? It's false. Four. Rosa needs a single room. Great. Number two. Rosa is going to stay for three days. True it's or false? True. Okay. Number three. False. False. Okay. Can you read it? Can someone of you read it, please? Three, Rosa is going to stay in a smoking room. Thank you. Number four. Rosa is going to rent a car at the airport. Okay. Is it true or is it false? True. True. True? True. true. It's false. 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 But the service Wait, is oh, fatal a service of shows the service. agency. Yes, uh, it's false. <laughs> Yes, it is false, it is false. Okay, now let's see then what is accommodation and what are amenities, okay? Amenities is always plural. Amenities is always plural. It's not only one amenity, it's amenities, okay? Mm -hmm. One of the amenities, right? Okay, now let's read these definition. Could you please read this, uh, Jorge? Read the definition of accommodation. Um, please repeat, teacher. Can you Sorry. please read? Va, estamos en este cuadrito de texto. Okay, activity number four here. So I want you to read this definition. What is accommodation? Can you read here, please? Accommodation, uh, please. Sure, as a room in a hotel where travel, car, sleep, and find other service. Okay, so it says that accommodation is a place, right? Okay. It's a place. Okay, place. then what kind of place such as a room in a hotel right uh, es un lugar así como un cuarto de hotel verdad so una habitación de hotel so, accommodation is a place such as a room in a hotel where people who travels so travelers can sleep and find other services. Veamos entonces cuáles son los other services. Other services. Ajá. Veamos. Amenities. Amenities. Um, Jessica, could you please read the definition for amenities? Okay. Uh, amenities, plural, the futures of the hotel that are available for guests to use 
a, a gym, a pool, a minibar, a jacuzzi. Etc. Etc. Ok. Entonces, veamos la pronunciación de esta palabra es features. 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 Uh -huh. features. Las cualidades, las características del hotel, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que posee ese hotel? Features. Features. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. For example, gym, right? Pool, many bars, jacuzzis, right? So jacuzzis, etc. What other amenities can you think? ¿Qué otras amenities se les ocurre? Service room. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Ese se llama room service. Okay. Uh, room service. Uh -huh. Room service. Mm -hmm. Spa. Spa. Piscina. A pool. Mm -hmm. We have a pool here. Mm -hmm. AC service. Okay, air conditioner. Uh, so it is AC. Mm -hmm. Good. Full service. Okay, the full service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All include, right? All inclusive. All inclusive. All eating, all drinks. Okay. All, all you can eat, all you can drink, right? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shows, right? Shows at night, <clears throat> right? Or sh any kind of show, any kind of show. Okay, people. So now let's go and... Uh, permítanme. I will stop sharing. Let's go to the slide. Al, al slide que habíamos visto, okay? En el slide que habíamos visto... Solo lo vamos a mirar, ¿ok? Vamos a dar un, un... Take a look on this. Ok. Just take a look on the slide. What do you see here? What do you see here? A ver, solo las cosas que puedan identificar de los, del vocabulario que hemos hablado. Mm. Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, Wi-Fi, good. Uh -huh. Hotel. It's an amenity. Uh -huh. It's amenities, right? Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, dinner, or ¿cómo se pronuncia? Cena. Okay. Or, or, or restaurant. Or restaurant. Okay, restaurant, uh huh. Yeah, the restaurant. The room service. Airport. Airport. Mm -hmm. Laundry Airport. service. Okay. Bed. Bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Single or double room, right? Mm -hmm. Refrigerator. We call come. Fridge. Fridge, uh huh. Fridge. Um, case. Laundry service. Suitcases, laundry service. Uh -huh. uh, show service or shoot. Shadow. Shadow service. Shadow service. Shadow service. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. 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 Business center. Okay. Good. Ahora, vámonos a nuestro manual de regreso. Y en nuestro manual tenemos un ejercicio. And the next page, page 40, okay? On page 40. Así que nos vamos a ir al breakout room, okay? Y van a completar ese ejercicio, eh, exercise number five, okay? Exercise number five. You have to match the, um, the amenity with the corresponding picture, okay? Así que nos vamos al breakout room para que lo hagan. 
La idea es que les quede el mayor vocabulario posible. Ok. There we go. Hi, Guadalupe, are you alone here? Okay. Estoy sola, estoy sola. Oh my God. How was this possible? Okay, let's see. Y en las seis creo que alguien quedó solo también, permítame. Vamos perdidos, perdidos, perdidos. <laughs> Pero cuando entró, cuando entraron, tenían compañero. Estaba sola, no. Estaba sola. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Permítame, ahorita la voy a asignar okay. eh, Guadalupe. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. oh. Ahora Hello. sí. Lo... Okay, there you may work with Lucia, okay? Oh, there is Guadalupe, okay? I brought Guadalupe to work with you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Hello, girls. I'm sorry, my cell phone uh, uh -huh. don't have charge and okay. I have to change to the computer okay. and I... I didn't hear your indication. Okay, we are working on page 40 in 40. activity five. Yes, okay. it's the activity five. You have to match or write the word. Okay, write the like word. A, for an, a specific number. Yes. In picture. With a picture, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay, Sonia. Muy bien, entonces. Um, In the page 40. Uh -huh. We are going to, to do the exercise five. Ah, es la, 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 la seis dijo, ah. No, five. Ah, lo que ya estábamos bien. Muy bien. Laver the picture with the corresponding word from the box. Yes. Sure, sure service. ¿Qué num number? No. Sí. 
show the service. A ver. Show. Pero. Show. Laundry. Ajá. La laundry es como de ropa sucia. Sí, la dos. Ah, sí, exacto, sería la dos. Laundry service. Uh -huh. Qué verdad, aquí está. Vaya. Entonces, me imagino yo que Busing y Center es la cuatro. Porque no, no veo otro, otro que se parezca. Porque Saf, uh -huh. Safi. Es la, cinco. la cinco, es como seguro va y, y ahí uh -huh. se ve como se ve como una sí como una como una caja fuerte caja fuerte exacto cabal dónde ser Hello, teacher. Hello, Edie. Tell me. Um, activity five in the finish. Okay, you finished. Is, mm -hmm. You finished. Okay, you may the... go. Let's go yeah. back. Let's go back yeah. to the main room. Okay. Go back. Okay. Yes, please. Let's go back. Okay, ah, it is. Okay, everyone, we're going to start with the, uh, I'm sorry, I, 
repeat something that I did. One second. Bagi. Bye. Maletas. Reservar receiver. Receiver. Travel. Okay, one second. I'm having some trouble here because I'm not able to see everything and I see someone pinned. So one second, please. Maleta, incluye I'm seeing her here. Okay, here we go. This is better. Okay, people. So let's uh, solve this um, exercise. Uh, what is number one? The picture number one. Wake up call. Okay, a wake up call. When do we ask for a wake up call? When we have, for example, um, when we have, for example, a, a meeting and we need to wake up a certain time, right? A certain time. So you call the reception area to the receptionist desk and then you ask for a wake up call, okay? Now, number two. Number two, laundry, laundry service. service. Okay, laundry, service. laundry, 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 laundry service. Laundry. Sí. Lo van a escuchar también como laundry, laundry, así en rápido. Laundry, 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 laundry. laundry. service. Okay, uh, number Okay, pronunciamos correcto. Fridge. 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 In the room. In the room. Number four. Business. Business center. Business center. Business center. Business center. Okay. Let's see. Number five. Save. 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 Number six. Single, single room. room. Single, single room. room. Because they have only one bed, right? Even though she, or, uh, the room has a queen bed, queen size bed, or a king size bed, or a full size bed. Yeah. Or individual size, right? Okay, let's see. Uh huh. Number seven. Number seven. Oh. Shuttle, Shuttle service. 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 Okay, and number eight. Wi-Fi. 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 Wi
incluido en ese artículo. El artículo se trata de cómo se clasifican los hoteles, ¿ok? Why do they call the one star hotel, two stars hotel, and fragments, right? And five star hotel, what do they offer? What, the, what are the amenities they have to um, get that rating, ¿ok? para ver, eh, de clasificar en esos, en esos ratings. Y ahí hay tres preguntitas en la plataforma que pueden, que van a contestarlas, ¿verdad? La van a contestar de acuerdo a lo que dice el artículo. Ok, esa es una actividad que les queda para ustedes. Ahora, veamos acá y pensemos, ¿ok? Pensemos, this is your turn. Write a checklist about the types of services and amenities you need for your next trip. Imagining, okay? Si tenemos, eh, si no tenemos un viaje próximo, imaginemos, ¿verdad? Use words from the box and include your own. ¿Verdad? Eh, puede ser lo que usted quisiera tener, ¿verdad? De servicios en un hotel. Eh, veamos entonces. Tomemos but, ahorita. But it depends. It depends on what? Depend. Todo incluido. Todo. Uh -huh. but, um, I go to the vacation, or you can eat, or you can dream, pool, but I go to work is other option. Yes, of course. If you go for business, uh, I mean, if you do business travel, yes, it's you need the internet, you need the, the principal room. Uh -huh, right. Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi, yes. Okay, yes, correct. It, um, in this case, you decide what kind of trip you are having, okay? If it is a family trip or if it is a business trip, okay? Okay. Don't worry, or a tourism, like a tourist, right? So yes, you may say that. In todo caso, ¿Qué cosas le gustaría a usted o qué servicios buscaría usted en un hotel? ¿Qué okay? quisiera tener en un hotel? ¿Ya? Yeah? All you can eat. Ok, ok. Ok, everyone. Escríbanlo ahí, escríbanlo ahí. Bueno, okay. para, que, para que no nos... Eh, no nos cueste, vámonos al chat, ¿ok? Todos poniendo en el chat qué amenities buscarían ustedes en un hotel, ¿ok? Si ahorita tuvieran que viajar, pleasure a trip, a, a, I mean, or family trip, or business trip, yeah, then you decide. Tell me on the chat. The just Uh, how do you say massages or spa? Okay, massage, 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 and spa. And spa, spa, spa. It is Marina without the M. Spam es otra cosa. Sería spa sin spa. la M. Mm -hmm. Spa. Okay. okay. Marcos Amilcar, room service. Okay. I would like to have a, a big room. Okay, good, good. A big room. Mm -hmm. Big room, double or big room, single? <laughs> uh huh. Not multiple, right? Not multiple because we don't have any privacy there. Okay, fridge, yeah, fridge. Yulisa, and what you get from that fridge is uh, charged extra, okay? Carla Maria, okay, TV, mm -hmm. cable, right? Cable, uh-huh, cable and to watch the, a national channels, right? Yeah, yeah, because if we if we don't, I mean, if we go to another country, we want to see what's local, right? So yes, we would like to see the local channels, right? Mm -hmm. 
Food, food. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, Estela. Single. Okay. Guadalupe. Ah, near the beach. Oh my God. Yay, yay. Entertainment. Yeah. With a sight, right? Sight. Vista. Sight. Mm, wi Fi, good. Room play, is it because of the kids? It is Marina? Yes. Okay, because of the kids will be a playroom. Okay, playroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, TV service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. What about if you go on a business trip? What about if you go on a business trip? Okay. Battery? Guarderia. Uh, like battery? Yeah, batería de un device. No, no. no. Guarderia. Oh, okay. That's um, I, uh, we have different words for that. We have different words. They care, podría ser. Okay, they care like this. They care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or uh, playground. Que sería un lugar donde se juega. Pero, um, okay, que se juega vigilado también. But playground is outside, okay? It's outside. Uh, mostly is daycare, okay? Daycare. Microwave, okay? No. Tours, yes. Pole, of course, pole. Mm -hmm. Okay, all inclusive. Very good. A ver, ¿les queda claro la diferencia entre amenities and accommodations? Amenities and accommodations. Oh, yes, free. Parking for free. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, what's accommodation, guys? A ver, todos díganme, ¿cuál es la definición de accommodation? Accommodation. I think it's everything it's uh, uh, give us uh, accommodation. <laughs> okay. Or, uh -huh. or, or give us uh, or rest. Or okay. something uh, better for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, service. Okay. Or... Veamos la... Okay. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Stella. Accommodations. We talk about the place. Okay. The place. Like a hotel. Mm -hmm. right? A hotel room. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, Todos los servicios dijo, oh, amenities. service is amenity. Okay. Yes. Amenities are the services that okay. they offer. Okay. okay. Amenities are the services that they offer. Okay. okay. So, yes, guys. There we go. I think we've finished. We've finished for tonight. We cover all the content. And... Remember that you have that activity. 
And also, please do your homework tonight. Okay. El, el, la sesión uno a uno para ahora. Como varios no se han quedado, o sea, estoy un poco perdida en eso, pero le tocaría en todo caso a. a ver, le toca en todo caso a Marielo. Ok. Mm. Yes, Marielos. Do you want to stay, Marielos? Okay, teacher. Okay, Marielos. Well, everyone, if uh, there is no question, if, if there is no question or any question, <laughs> then we may finish, okay? No hay ninguna pregunta? No, teacher. No, okay, just let me call the roll. Y nos podemos retirar. Good night, teacher. Okay. okay. Good night, teacher. Carol Olivet Chávez Reyes. Yeah. <laughs> ya no íbamos. I <laughs> said that I was going to go to the room. <laughs> hey, guys. Can you see me? <laughs> okay, easy, easy boy. <laughs> okay. Yo me fui primero, yo me fui primero. <laughs> y ya todos iban en cola detrás de este Guadalupe. Okay. <laughs> así, como cuando, no, así como cuando en el colegio tocaban el timbre. <laughs> 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 ok, Carol y Ben Chávez Reyes. <clears throat> Delvi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Teacher, no me fui, aquí estoy y no me mencionó. Yes, I see. Guadalupe y Avilet Salazar de Aguilar. Ok, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Ok. I check you in already. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. Uh, jo José Mauricio García Hernández. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Ok. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Marcos Amilca. Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Luciana Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loay. Present. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Present teacher. Yulisa Cruz García. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and do your homework, okay? Bye. Good night. 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 Call, call you, real de, call, call, como se pronuncia, call you, mm -hmm. my, mi, okay. my, mm -hmm. oh, lo pronuncia bien? Yes, would you mm -hmm. mind, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Sí, yo siento bastante que mi problema es que es hablarlo y escucharlo. Oh, ok. Y ahí estamos luchando bastante. Ok, Mariela, sí, sí. Would you? Ajá, este para pronunciarlo no se pronuncia la letra L, ok? 
Y se lo voy a escribir así como que dijéramos, solo va a decirlo como así. ¿Ok? Yeah. Uh, would, uh -huh. Como que dijera dos U uh, aquí. Would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Would you? Uh -huh. Ya unido mm -hmm. con el you, esto suena como would you. Algo así. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Uh -huh. Y este sería así. Would you mind? Ok. Se lo voy a borrar porque tampoco es tan aceptable que lo pongamos así. Ok. Así que, pero por la, la interferencia y por, la, por el sonido se lo escribí así. Ok. Pero es, would you mind? Mire. Woo, cerramos. ¿Ver? Would. Uh -huh. Would you. Would you. Uh -huh. Would you mind? Quizás es de una clave más, como más, para decir, oh, ok, voy a utilizar would you mind y quote. El problema es que como perdí una parte también de la clase de ayer. Ah, ok. Pero yo sé que ya venimos viéndolo desde el... Ok, el... ¿would you mind lo usamos cuando usted quiere eh, pedirle a alguien que haga algo? Eh, pero de una manera muy amable, de, muy educadamente, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decirle a mi, a mi jefe, ¿verdad? Eh, que por favor algo, que haga algo que yo necesito, entonces yo le puedo decir, would you mind, vamos a poner un ejemplo acá, would you mind sending the report? Ok, would you mind sending the report? Yeah. Esto es un, eh, le estoy diciendo que manden el reporte, ¿verdad? Pero de una manera muy, muy educada. Muy okay. bien. Uh -huh. Tenemos también este, ¿verdad? Could you please? Right. Sorry. Send the report. Okay. También es otra manera de pedir que alguien haga algo por mí o para mí, pero de, este es como un poquito eh, en grado, ¿verdad? En grado, could you please, sería como formal, pero would you mind es súper extra formal, ¿ok? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you please se lo puedo decir a, a mi colega, ¿verdad? A mi, incluso a un cliente, ¿verdad? Se lo puedo decir. Pero a alguien que no conozco, a un cliente, a mi jefe, yo le yo usaría would you mind, ¿ok? Would you mind. Uh -huh. Y ahí la diferencia, cuando utilizo una. Eh, cuando eh, usa eh, would you mind, ajá, eh, exacto. El, el otro, eh, verbo base. Exactly. Uh -huh. Mire el ing. Vea. Uh -huh. Y este es base. Uh -huh. Y este please lo puede usar aquí o lo puede usar al final. Uh -huh. Y no olvidar el, el fin de interrogación. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nada que ver porque yo dije, no, ahora en el inicio, ¿y cómo voy a saber si está buena o mala? Decía, es busqué en internet, ¿verdad? La diferencia. Ajá. <risa> Exacto, es que va una con ING, que es would you mind. Los que van después de mind van con ING, ¿ok? Y si usamos could you uh, o could y el sujeto, va en forma base, el verbo. Oh. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok, ¿estamos bien hasta ahí o necesita algo más? 
No. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí. Okay, Marielos. Es un placer. It's a pleasure. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good okay. night. Good night, Marielos. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah.